Hello everyone, so I completely forgot I had to film the intro uh, and I took off the wig and my hair does not look great but we're rolling um, I was gonna film the intro when I had makeup on but this is the earliest I was gonna have makeup on so I just used Angel's makeup <laughs> but yeah, um, I am going to show you how to style Nifty's wig at least how I did it and if you wanna take some tips from me feel free to do it uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you some pictures of how it ended up so that you know what to expect and I hope you guys enjoy the video Surprise! Okay, so let's start. As you can see, I already crimped the wig uh, I forgot to film this part, but I have other videos on my channel crimping the wig if you want to see it Although I don't know if I'm using the new technique or not, but I will be crimping a small section of the blonde wig for the fringe because she has a small section uh, blonde so yeah i'm gonna show you how to do that very quickly okay so here uh, we have my friend's blonde wig this is actually a commission for her unfortunately she already had a blonde wig so we could just use that i am going to take a small section of the hair from the back to cut because it will not be seen in the end and i'm gonna crimp it and yeah I'm, then i'm gonna cut it and I will glue it to the red wig, but I will only be doing that in the end after I style all the wig. Okay, so here as you can see, I am crimping the wig. Um, it's obviously in a higher speed because this is a very, very long process. So I couldn't do it in real time, otherwise we would not <laughs> live here. But yeah, I crimped the wig, then while it's still hot, I brush it and then i pass it with the straightener and then i brush it again while it's still hot and i do that a few times until I'm, I'm satisfied with it here i'm watching how much i should crimp and i think that's enough so i just cut it and then i'm going to as you can see i'll see you will see later so back to my wig i am brushing it and I'm gonna start with the fringe. I'm taking the the, the, the hair out of the way first so I, I don't cut the wrong parts. And I'm, I first cut a longer length than usual so that if I, I can slowly cut it so that if I cut too, I don't want to cut too much in the beginning because I could make a mistake. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut the wig until I'm satisf satisfied with the length. And then I wanted to do like a swirly thing on the fringe. I took some inspiration, but yeah, I ended up doing more of my thing, but I, I did have some inspirations, with, which I will show right here. Okay. As you can see, I am not cutting to the length. I like it. Also, when I do swirly things, it also takes away some length, which is why I also cut it um, longer, because you never know how, how short it will become when you uh, use the hair straightener. And yeah, then I will hairspray it to make it sure it stays in place. And I'll blow dry, blow dry it because it sets it faster. I hairspray it again. It, it, I'm gonna use a lot of hairspray because I do want it to stay in place. And then I'm gonna start sectioning uh, the spikes. I like to do. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but I like to glue part of the hair to the face to shape it. Uh, this one actually ended up being shorter than I wanted, but it still looked nice. Plus, the the hair ended up um, shaping the face either way, even without it. So it all turned well. But yeah, I like doing that on, on the wigs as much as I can. As always, you hairspray it and you, you blow dry it.
I ended up changing tactics in the middle of it because sometimes you just do it in a way you think it's gonna look good or the way you you uh, take inspiration but then you find out that maybe for you it works better another way which is what happened with me I ended up using a, a tactic a style that I had used before and I thought it looked good so I just used that because I was not liking how the wig was turning but yeah, this was a very much a trust the process wig. To be fair, most wigs are a trust the process thing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing the, um, the horny things. As you can see, uh, I also, to, to make the horns like stickier, like for them to not uh, get apart, I like to use hairspray and then go with the hair flattener and then they, they, they stick together very well so I like to do that I didn't do it as much here but in the middle of it you will see that I do that a lot and it gives a, a very nice shape that I do like to see also my um, my stand was falling a little bit because two of the the things that support it broke so I, it was it had four and it was only standing on two <laughs> and i tried to fix it and it didn't work but i will try to fix it again this is actually uh, a stand for my mm, how do you say it uh the thing where you put your clothes to like uh how do you say it you, you like it has a form of a body and you you basically when you make your, your clothes you put them there that thing um but it also really works perfect for the 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 wig stand like it fits perfectly and i was so happy that i didn't have to buy <laughs> another one of these and because i didn't have space plus it's more expensive with it but although i should probably get a new one um for because this one is broken <laughs> She has like two stand, two stands, one on each side that are longer. So I try to do that. As you can see, it's not standing uh, very high here, but I will uh, show you a way to make it stand a little bit higher by the end of it. Yeah, this part is mostly just cutting and styling. I like to show uh, the most of the process instead of cutting because for me sometimes I take time to understand how a wig is made and I like to watch it for a few minutes so yeah I, I like to do it this way plus if you if you want to just see some parts you can always just uh, skip those parts Jump here. here you can see how the wig is turning as you, I told you, I wasn't very happy with the process by by this time, but I knew that I was still gonna add some wefts that I'm gonna use from this ponytail. Uh, I'm gonna use wefts to add in the middle of the um, the horns because I didn't have that much hair. But yes, as I was saying, what was I saying earlier? <laughs> I forgot. I will try to remember. But yeah, now we do the other part fixing the fringe a little bit more to make sure it looks perfect i also recommend trying maybe if it's for yourself and stuff like that uh even if it's not for yourself i recommend trying the uh, the fringe at least or the wig from time to time on your head to see if the the length is good oh yeah i was talking about the um, the stand but yeah i should probably get a new one because this one is broken like i said it's a little bit annoying to always like it's always falling now <laughs> sometimes I'll, I'll just be uh, uh laying down and i just hear boom and it's the stand i tell now we do the uh, horns on the back not sure if they're called horns but i like to call them horns because they look like little horns 
But yeah, as you can see, you probably already guessed it, but uh, the heat really uh, shapes the hair. Also, uh, my friend has already posted her nifty pictures. If you want to see her Instagram is ru.stop. She looked very, very cute as nifty. We did a Genshin... Gen Genshin? <laughs> we did a has been hotel group on Sunday of Ibaranim. I did go a Stolas on Saturday and I had so much fun. Seriously, it was a really, really great time. I love seeing myself as Stolas, not gonna lie. I, I went as Angel on Sunday, by the way. I think, no, I'm sure I like seeing myself more as Stolas than Angel. I just, I don't know why. I, just I really really love Stolas. He's one of my favorite characters of all time. And I relate to him a lot and he's just baby to me. And now I'm gonna grab uh, a few wefts and then I'm gonna glue them uh, at the tip. I'm just gonna spread the glue and then I'll use the fingers to flatten it. And then I will put some more glue on it so that it can stick to the wig. I'm just gonna see where it looks better. Uh, and then I'm going to press on it so that it, it stays and use a blow dryer to uh, make it dry quicker and stay in place. And then I'm just gonna style it like I did the rest. Uh, make sure it's well uh, fixed, try to pull it a little bit and if it's not just uh, do it again until it's well fixed. But yes, I am going to do that uh, a few times now to give more wefts to the wig because I thought it would look uh, much better with many many um, horns. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do now is just glue some wefts i am sorry if it's too fast <laughs> i hope you guys can understand what i'm doing also be careful when you use hot tools not to hurt yourself or not to burn the wig uh, be very careful As you can see, I'm going to start uh, spraying it and going over it with the hair flattener even more than before. Here I'm going to use the steamer to try to put it uh, a little bit up. The, the bigger part that I said that she has, it, it did work, but it went down a little bit with time. So I will show you another method I used. But yeah, as you can see, it did stay up a little bit. Unfortunately, it, it, it did not look uh, at the same height. It did not stay at the same height. So now I started sectioning the bigger parts into smaller parts because I thought it looked better that way. I just really preferred it. It's just, it's a personal uh, taste, honestly, and you can do it however you prefer. If you prefer them to be thicker, you can make them thicker. If you want them thinner, you can make them thinner. Uh, that's up to you. Uh, here I go again, trying to make the, um, the bigger parts stand out. And here I, I use the, um, this thing. You can use anything, honestly, as long as it sticks there. Uh, you put it underneath uh, the hair so it stays up. 
I am so sorry that <laughs> I am very bad at explaining. <laughs> but yeah, you just stick it underneath uh, the, the hairpiece and it stays up. And then you're going to use wefts to cover it so that it doesn't show. So that's what I did. I just glued wefts around it so that it didn't show. Here I'm uh, redoing some of the, the horns. I'm just reshaping them. Like I said, I'm making them a little bit thinner. But also flatter. As you can see, I'm just using a lot of hairspray and flatten them a lot. So that they are no longer as pointy, like at the edge, they're more square. Here I'm just gonna use the same method to just put a lot of hairspray and flatten it so that it stays in shape for the, the top part. I don't remember what the name is, but I do that. And then I just glue it with glue. Yeah, that's how it looked. As you can see, there's a lot more She's going bald. on right now on the side. Oh no. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, there's a lot more going on. Oh, don't forget to pin the wig with pins. Uh, in my case, I usually pin it and use the straps, but the straps are too small, so I just pinned it. But yeah. By the way, uh, in the end, after I finished the video, I ended up adding more wefts it, on the back. So when you see the final product and you see the back, uh, it, in the end it will have a little bit more wefts. But you will not be able to see it because I did not film that part. I just looked at it uh, after I finished it like a day or two before giving it to my friend. I was like, I'm going to add more wefts. It does not look right. <laughs> it looked like... There was something missing. I am really glad I bought a longer wig because I had a lot of, of hair to spare. Uh, this wig was actually from AliExpress. It, it was easy to work with. The problem is that the wig cap was very, very small. So it almost didn't fit my friend, like she couldn't even, you know, they have straps where you strap them to make the wig uh, s tighter on the back. Some people it like to do that. Uh, my friend couldn't do that because it was so small and it barely fit her head. So you have to be careful with that. But yeah, the wig was actually very nice to work with uh, besides that. So as you can see, it looks way ni nicer now than it did before. At least in my opinion it does. I just like these little horny things way better now than the, the ones before. Plus there's a lot more of them. Oh, here uh, you can't see it, but the hair looked kind of not good. So I just glued it a little bit more. Here I remember the side part, <laughs> I had forgotten about it. Making sure they stay firm and just don't move. <laughs> Because if you put hairspray and then go, like a lot of hairspray and go over it with the hair straightener, it will like solidify, it will not move. <laughs> Which is what I actually wanted from this wig. I just wanted it not move and just um, be very, very uh, still. Uh, 
as you can if you look at both sides right now you can see like the difference one side is like planar because it does not have the the extra wefts and the other one has like little wefts like uh, with very different dimensions Also, I am very sorry if I use the wrong English terms. I am not English, so <laughs> it is not my first language or my second language at, th at that. This wig was not turning out how I wanted it, but Honestly, I am very, very happy with how it ended up being. Like I said before, and I will repeat myself, trust the process, trust yourself, and don't give up. If things start going south, try to think, oh, how can I make it better? Don't, don't stress. Um, just try your best. Here I'm going to use the same, do the same thing, which is... I will take a little bit of the fabric or the drag. I think it's Dracalon, the name. I will look at the name before and just add it a little bit under the um, hair part to make it stand up. Okay, so here I'm going to add more uh, hair on top of the bigger part because it looked ugly uh, the top part it looked very ugly and uh, you can't see it here but i didn't like how to look so i added more hair to make it look smoother yeah as you can see probably it, it looks way better now Also, I know wig, wig styling at the beginning can be a little bit scary. Even for me, I'm still learning and I am still have a lot to learn and get better at. Uh, and it's still scary. Like, it's, it's going to be scary probably forever. But, like, trust yourself and uh, don't, f don't be afraid to step a little bit uh, out of your comfort zone little by little. Because that is how we improve. Oh, and finally, I'm adding the last part, which is the blonde part. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just did what I did with the rest of the wig. I just glued it under the hair and I'm going to use the hair straightener to uh, do some finishing touches on the fringe. Just going to add a little bit more. Also, my favorite type of glue is UHU. I don't know if that's how you say it. I never said it in English. But yeah. Making sure it stays good. Yeah, and that's how the wig turned out. As I said, I did add some more rests um, on the back, a little bit more, just a few, like four. Oh, and yeah, that's how the wig looks in my head. I am very happy with it. Hope you liked the tutorial. <laughs> Bye!